Welcome into Extra Time. Thank you as always for your tweets. A lot of them, inevitably, about today's game, which we covered on the show, but we have uh, chosen some more to talk about. Uh, Craig, Frank and Don with us. Don, was it naive of Atalanta not just to part the bus and defend deep for the last 10 minutes? I think they tried. I think they tried to, Dan. I think there was nothing left in their legs. Um, and I think they adopted that attitude. Why would you try and score the second goal when you're protecting a 1-0 lead? Um, you know, I was watching the players. They were out on their feet. They were absolutely shattered. They were looking at the clock and they were thinking, we can get the job done. It's only in hindsight where you lose a couple of late goals. You then start to question, should the manager have changed his approach? I don't think he should. I think it was, it was nearly absolutely spot on. Frank? Yeah, nothing much to add. I think they they they've done everything they could. They were, I think, uh, really tired, and uh, and they knew that they couldn't attack anymore because of the threat of Mbappe coming in uh, the last uh, 25 minutes, and, and you know the the pace of his runs and uh, and the capability of uh, of killing you on uh, on 20 yards. So uh, on top of it, you have Neymar also can be who can be fast. So you have to drop his. Uh, uh, subconsciously what you do because you want to protect your goal but um, you know it, it didn't work but that's some you know years ago decades ago in Italy it used to work Craig everyone talks about Atalanta playing free-flowing attacking football and all that but weren't they more dirty than Simeone's Atleti what? no didn't see that no of course not lots of yellow cards uh, yeah, but I thought the, the, the way the game started, they should have been 1 0 up. Papu Gomez had a chance. Jim City, as Craig said earlier, he had a chance at the far post. They were creating chances for fun. You know, I think I tweeted after six minutes of the game, it could be 1 1. And I didn't oh, what, see a What dirty a tweet, sign. What a tweet that was, Don. <laughs> I'm sure that, that, that's brilliant. This, does, this doesn't well, no, make no, sense. I see, I see a sign that's competitive. What, what do you want them to do? What, what do you want us professionals to do? Stand off someone like Neymar and stand off someone like Mbappe and go, have the ball, go and show us all your tricks, and why don't you just skin me while you're there? You've got to put your foot in. There's, there's, there's more ways to, to try and beat your opponent, and everyone thinks about the game being 11 v 11. Ultimately, it's 1v1, and I thought Daron, I thought, was unbelievable in that midfield for Atalanta. He was making tackles for fun. Can't you, can't you play free-flowing football and be aggressive? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Mm -hmm. Champions League quarter-final. Look at Real Madrid City that we talked about, Dan. Mm -hmm. One yellow card for Modric, yep. 80th minute. Never got close to making a tackle. It's a physical game, isn't it? I mean, goodness me, some of these players... It's not, it wasn't a dirty game. The fouls were little cynical fouls and stuff like that. It, it's not like how it used to be when players were getting clattered left, right and centre. So clearly, even even the people watching it have gone soft. <laughs> uh, has anyone on the crew <laughs> ever lost a game in the final minutes like Atalanta? How do you cope after that? I imagine you all have, haven't you, at some stage yeah, in your career? Have. Of course we have. How do you cope with it, Craig? What do you mean, how do I cope with it? Well, you get bloody get on with it, man. What do you mean, how do I cope with it? Well, because I go home <laughs> and I lock myself in the house for six months and I cry like a big baby. What do you mean, how do you cope with it? I mean, bloody locked up in jail for six months. Lost a late goal. It happens. Sport. Right? You deal with it. You move on. How do you cope with it? Oh, you go home and you just cry. <laughs> Another softy. <laughs> I forgot the softy. I'm not sure when anyone said that. Uh, Frank, how did you cope? Oh, your family are missing. Oh, we don't know where they are. This is terrible. How do you cope? Oh, it's terrible. Oh, you lost a goal in the last minute. How do you cope? Where's your family gone? Well, well I'm just I, pointing out. I don't know out. if I can answer. These things are I don't serious. Know if I can answer. Losing a goal in the last minute. How do you cope with it? Oh dear. Good grief. I don't know. I don't know if I can answer to anything after what Craig said, you know. Well, you know, I didn't sleep for one night when I used to lost the game like that. But after you carry on because you have many other games. Oh, the games, fireworks so are back. I don't the fireworks remember. are back. Oh, the fireworks is here. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, and beautiful. There the, we go. Those Frank. shows. Oh, look at Frank. that. He's got a remote control. Oh, what? He's got a remote control. I'm saying that. Yes, Honestly. I do it on purpose. Well, the, Whoever yes, is back, you know. There you I, go. See, that's technology. That's, that's, that, that backdrop's hopeless. Ah, oh, it's not. You're just jealous. No, I prefer yeah. the it's dark just, one. That's what's wrong with us. We, we, we want, 
We want boring. We want a boring backdrop behind Frank. Uh, it's much better when it's yeah. black and the fireworks are coming out right. and you can see that big dome he has. Right. What's wrong says, with people? Says right. the man there with a the brick wall behind him. Right, there you go. It's not yeah, a, brick, true. Oh, a brick wall. Oh, oh, yes, it's a brick wall. I think you're fine. Uh, Don, that's a fireplace. Oh. Uh, yeah, Don. <laughs> Oh my days! You've yeah. got him going there, Dan, with that right. question. Imagine Frank, what you would we... be like if you drained a twelve footer on the last hole. Oh. You'd be fuming. Frank, How do you cope go... with that? Let's get back to the question. You said you didn't sleep for one night. What happened? Why? Yeah. I well, never slept. slept. Then he woke you up always... the next day. What a stupid <laughs> question is that? Why is it a stupid question? <laughs> Shut up! Just because you don't have a heart well, or feelings or emotions. <laughs> Frank said. Frank said he never slept for he never slept for one night. And you said what happened? Well, he never slept for a night. He was tired in the morning. He woke up and he went to sleep the next night. Face the brick wall. <laughs> That'd be much better for all of us. <laughs> you know. Can you cut off the microphone? Yes. So we can do something, you yeah. know, we can talk. Listen, I want um, to go as much as anybody. I've got oh, to go. Let him talk. Let him talk then. That's it. Put up a question about predictions and I'll go. There's no prediction question. Right. Oh. Do it. By the way, Craig, did you pick up the dog that you should pick up yesterday or you didn't? Because if you didn't, Shh. just go. No. Don't distract him, Frank. Right. Frank, I don't have a dog. What did you do <laughs> that was so... <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Don't, don't have a dog, I was okay. going to golf. Okay. Frank, okay, Com Frank. coming back to the question. Um, it's like it's like when you when you when you miss a penalty or you lose the last minute, you you always think about and you, you do a res retrospective mm -hmm. about the game and what you did during the game, you say, how come it happened? Why we couldn't stick together and and, and, and work hard together to save the, the point or to, to save a win? Uh, and and you, you wonder, you wonder because you, of course, you don't have the answer and you know that you, you did something bad in a way that uh, you had what, maybe a minute to, uh, to, to hold on the, and, and, and work hard and it didn't happen. So you, you, you feel stupid. So it's why you, you, you don't understand why you, f you have that uh, feeling inside you. Don? I think the worst thing is, is, is how long it takes to actually get rid of. I think when you score a last minute winner, it's the elations there and the elations in the dressing room afterwards. And maybe when you go to training the next morning, there's still part of uh, a little bit of joy in the dressing room, but then you sort of forget about that because you're prepping for the next game. But when you lose one in the last minute, you know, if you're not mentally strong, um, that can linger for a few days. Howard Kendall was the best manager I played under. And he always said on, on a Saturday after a loss, whether it been a 90 minutes or the last minute, don't come in on a Monday morning moping around the place with a sad face on. Whatever happens at the weekend is completely gone and we focus on the next game. Next question. What if you've got what if you've got a sad face in general and you're not moping around? Yeah. Well, that's just the way you look. <laughs> well, I mean <laughs> you'd know about that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Being frank or alright? <laughs> I'm good. I'm alright, Jack. You know, some people can't help some people can't can't help coming to work with a sad face. That's you're now discriminating oh you're now God. discriminating against people yes. with sad faces. Yes. Yeah. I, Quick, get get it, the prediction it, question up. Get it, it up. It's called the Mark Ogden effect, I believe. Right. Yeah. Uh, time to end two legged ties. What do you think, Craig? Uh I don't know. Don't know. I don't think so. I mean, it's exciting, but I think 180 minutes is a fairer reflection uh, of two teams. So I, I, I don't think so. Frank, I, I'm, I'm not. I don't understand the question. So, Can you say it in English? So no, <laughs> no more home and away. Just one-off matches in the knockout stages of the Champions League. Oh no, no. League, we like we talked about we talked about no. We talked about that. Um, uh, yesterday, I think it's the beauty of that of that uh, competition. I don't like the group stages, but I like the home and away um, uh, game and uh, the two ties, the two legs, and uh, and, uh, and 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 see how they can react because you have the. We talked about the suspense here yesterday, and I don't want to change that. I think it's uh, um, it would change too much the competition. Well, I tell you what, Dan, I wouldn't mind the two legs in the quarterfinals, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't be against. The semi-final and obviously the finals one leg. I wouldn't be against the semi-final being one leg, but clearly then both the semis and the final have to go to neutral venues. That that's that that's the difference. You'd yeah, have to have. Reason. That's not difficult. No, no. If it was just two games, yeah, the semi and the final. I, you know, I think I think that could work. Uh, but I would keep it as it is up to up until that point. 
So are you saying it wouldn't be diminished then? Semi diminished. <laughs> uh, Don, <laughs> even though they're Premier League champions, does the panel think. No, I would say it had been changed. Changed. Because once they change it, that's the format oh they've changed goodness. to, so it's now not diminished. For a man who wants he's, to finish this early, oh. you ought to have dragged it out. He's had a coffee tonight <laughs> and he's buzzing. <laughs> I'm here on my own with a dog that I don't have. Uh, yeah. Even though. <laughs> They're Premier League champions, Don. Does the panel think Liverpool need to revamp their squad and maybe sign a guy like Deli Ali, knowing Jose doesn't like him and he would be a good replacement for Wijnaldum? No, I think I think the talk and probably the question there is about Gini Wijnaldum because he's got 12 months left on his contract and Liverpool haven't offered him a contract or, or had, haven't started negotiations. I don't see Deli Ali being a fit for Liverpool. I think I think the kid's a fantastic player, but he's. He's not had a great 18 months. I think he needs to get his Tottenham career up and running before he even thinks about moving to a club that's on a different level to Tottenham and Liverpool. Um, if I was Jurgen Klopp, and I'm pretty sure he'd be having the conversation with his board that they need someone like Gini Van Alden. You know, they're going to look at other mid midfield players. If Thiago comes in, you know, he's an excellent holder midfield player, a quarterback player, if you like, but he's the only one, because Naby Kate is a little bit different, but he's the one that goes forward and goes box to box. Very easy, Gini. I think, I think he's very underrated. Final question, or well, it's not a question, but I thought you'd like to know that I was on a pretty intense business call and referred to someone who I thought was way off base as being in cloud cuckoo land. The call went dead silent and someone finally responded with what the hell did you just say? Craig, you're, sped you're spreading your dialect across the nation. What, cloud cuckoo land? Yeah, that's one of yours. Well, it's, it's not a... Uh... It's not something new. Well, to, to America it is. Well, um, yeah. we broadcast around the globe, Daniel. I don't, uh, I don't differentiate dialect for for America. <laughs> okay, I don't think this was a, criti a criticism of you. I think it was just I'm a nice story. Just, no, I'm no, I'm just saying that's cloud cuckoo land is something that people say in the UK. Some people. Have you heard that expression before, Frank? Of course not, Frank's but I don't French. understand Craig when he speaks. <laughs> well, lucky you. French, yeah. Lucky you, Frank. Yeah. Uh, that is it. I tell you what, that sums you up, Dan. <laughs> sums me that up. Sums up your, that sums up your performance tonight. I say, I say, I say, that's a, that's a terminology that's used in the UK, and you go straight to a Frenchman in Paris. That's I, a terrible tweet to finish on that. Horrendous to finish on that. Well, yeah, it, was your there, it was your boss four. who chose that tweet, Don, so good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> That's who did? It. There you go. <laughs> who, who did? Your boss. <laughs> the big boss. The boss man chose it. Great, great, great decision to pull that, that one That's in. it. Fantastic decision. Uh, Don, fact, to be honest with you, I don't know why we've got people in the room that don't know why the boss is poking his nose in anyway. Well, because they're, they're not responsible tweets. enough to choose the tweets, I don't think. You've met Are them. You, they're not, is he not, does he not want to give the responsibility the other people in the production and give him the trust no. that, that he's, sit, he's sitting in his house poking his nose in and sending <laughs> and sending in guff like this. Ah, that's good. No, I am not saying What's, what's wrong with you today? Uh, what's wrong? What? what do you mean today? What's wrong with this? What do you mean what today? Wrong, what happened? <laughs> what happened in your life? You want to hammer everybody, even your boss. <laughs> you don't I, tell, want to, I tell you, you what's happened, Frank. He tipped Atalanta to win tonight. <laughs> PSG oh, that's it. what it is. What that's it is. what it is. Listen, oh, he's all. upset. Not at all. Yeah. I couldn't wow. give a stuff about predictions. Imagine if Atalanta that. won. I told you. I told you all yesterday they were going to do it. You oh, were yeah. PSG. Bragging, he bragging. His trumpet, and now he's just no, shouting at everybody. Not at all. That's no, it. no, I wouldn't do. I never do that. I never do that. <laughs> oh, a lovely trumpet playing. That's a lot of. What was that, Frank? A whistle. That's, that's a lot of buttons to be pressing, though. <laughs> I've got a supermarket to go to, do you mind? Oh, what are you going to buy, Craig? Anything nice? Well, supermarket food. I mean, how thick are you? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to buy? I'm going to buy a horse. <laughs> oh, he's on off. fire. Uh, good, good. Are you Nothing selling any hippopotamuses oh, in this supermarket? Uh, I'm, I'm hanging up. I'm hanging right, up. That's enough. Uh, <laughs> it's a... He's yeah, off, to, he's off to buy a hippopotamus. Show, right, should we do it for real now? I'll tell you. Welcome into Extra Time. Thank you very much Yay! for your tweets. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, we made it. <laughs> All right, boys, see you later. We'll be back tomorrow for more.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.